any board that uses the zinc through the JTAG cable. Okay, we always connect our USB cable, open up Zynx SDK, and put our program. So today we're going to learn how to use a simple SD card. Okay, that we're going to program it with our uh, ELF program, the compiled program, and load it on the Z board when we power on. Okay. In order to, uh, to learn how to do this, we need to learn how the Zinc actually boots, okay? We're going to learn how to create a guy called FSBL, which stands for a first stage bootloader, that is going to configure our, uh, our Z board. And, uh, and, I mean, configure, uh, when I say configure, is actually configure the PS part, and then the PI part means programming the bitstream in our FPGA and all this through the, the SD card, okay? I'm going to switch to the board to explain more or less how the FSBL works and then go to the lab to show how to do all this using the uh, design SDK, programming our SD card and how to connect our Zinc to do the job, okay? Hope you guys enjoyed and uh, if you have some doubts later just send me a message and uh, Thumbs up if you really like it and let's go. Basically, uh, when you boot the zinc, first when you power on, the, the first thing that the zinc does is to execute something called FSBL, which stands for first stage bootloader. Okay? This is the guy who is going to be responsible okay, to check if there is some, uh, some media to boot, for instance, an SD card, an end, some sort of memory, etc. Okay? Then he's going to initialize the PS part. Okay. Later we're going to check on the source code is the function called PS7 init. Okay. Program the FPGA, the the FPGA part, the PL part in the case that you have a, a bit stream. Okay. And then jump to some bare metal app. Okay. In our case we're going to start simple with a hello world application, but later we're going to see that you can boot, for instance, this guy here, you boot, which is the guy responsible to boot in Linux. Yes. Okay. Another important feature that you, if you want, normally in our case we are not going to custom the FSBL, but uh, for instance, imagine that you want to call something after you program the PL, okay? There is a special file, okay, called FSBL hooks.c that is going to be generated our, uh, after we create the FSBL, is an Basically, it's going to be the place when you're going to change it if you want to customize that uh, uh, a little bit the FSBL just to run something after some event occurred. Okay? Uh, well, now I think we are ready to go to the lab and see how we do all this. Basically, we're going to, uh, to boot a simple program okay, from the SD card and we're going to check how to create the FSBL. Okay? So guys, let's just start by uh, adding a zinc on this system, okay? Uh, we at this point we really don't want to any, have any uh, IP core. We really don't need it. We just want to show how to have a simple hello world running on the on the SD card, okay? But just to to have some more information, this here is basically uh, what you need to have Xilinx working in your Zinc core, okay? You just need to have the triple time controller, UART, uh, and Ethernet. So as we have already our DDR controller, controller we have uh, a, a memory man management unit. This is really enough to have Linux, okay? But let's cancel and uh, let's just generate the bitstream of this. Ah, so just one point. We need to control this to do this loop, otherwise it will not work. Let's validate this design and uh, let's generate a bit stream. Okay. After this is done, we just uh, uh, export this design to Xilinx SDK and uh, and we launch Xilinx SDK and I'll show you how to create uh, FSBL and a simple hello world that you're going to use to load the system. Okay, now that is complete, let's export the hardware and uh, launch 
Xilinx uh, SDK. Okay. Okay. So here in the Xilinx SDK, we start just with a simple kind of Hello World program. Okay. Actually, this is the program that we're going to load after we boot. Okay. But now, what you're really interested is in this. We're going to here file create an application project. Okay. Let's call it FSBL. Uh, okay. We create a new BSP. We choose C. Uh, here in the OS, we're going to still use standalone. So, Zinc FSBL, finish. And uh, what this guy is going to do is going to create uh, a C program, okay? That is going to be first call when you boot your Zinc, okay? And uh, basically, let's just have a take in the uh, take a look on the main function. Basically, what it does, let's go to the main, is to initialize first the the PS part, okay, and uh, and then he's going to initialize our PL part, and after all this is done, he's going to jump, okay to some programs, to some uh, low level, like it's not Linux yet, uh, bare bone program, let's say, for instance, in our case, it will be our hello world, but uh, could be, for instance, you boot that later is going to call Linux, okay, but let's not go to these details right now, okay, so uh, after this FSBL is compiled, which by the way, he's going to do as soon as you save it or do some change in your uh, in your program okay let me close this guys what we need to do now is basically come here to tools uh create zinc boot image okay uh we can call it here um for instance i already created here uh some boot files but let's call it output boot two good okay so basically what we need to do we need to add our uh, fsbl okay as a as a bootloader it's probably here okay fsbl.elif okay then we need to add our bitstream okay in this case will be data file uh, is normally here in implementation let me just go back here uh, sorry runs implementation and uh, here this guy here is our implementation okay and after this so we have here our uh, FSBL EL if ELF file our bitstream and now we're going to add as well as a partition type data file our uh, hello world okay so the first one is bootloader the other two that is our bitstream and our hello world is going to be on the type uh, data file okay so we can come here and ask create image okay it's created now it's just a matter to copy the the generated file the boot.bin okay into our SD card your SD card need to have a fat partition okay later we're going to see that uh, in order to to load Linux we're going to choose two partitions but not yet okay let me just so basically let's copy this guy here to our let me delete this guy to our SD card okay and uh, now I'm going to put this SD card in our Z board so uh, here we just open uh, beauty okay but could be any uh, console terminal that you want this is just for free so I'm using this guy here so now let me just power up our Z board and uh, in a few 
seconds it should boot and uh, and run the hello world that you created so cool and uh, that's it guys so basically uh, what we did we create a very very simple project in Vivado that just has a zinc okay by the way uh, as we mentioned before this is enough to to run Linux for instance you don't need much more and uh, we created a simple hello world program that we compile and uh, the output of this uh, uh, this hello world is a dot elf file then we created using the uh, the Xilinx SDK template a first stage bootloader and we use a, another tool in Xilinx SDK that uh, create a kind of image that you copy in your SD card to to load a program in the in the zinc so uh, different from the other classes that we use the JTAG cable all the time to make this all thing work we now can pro put our program in an SD card and let it run okay so hope you guys enjoyed and uh, this one was a quick one and uh, see you guys in the next video